Magic of Math here, and today we're going to solve a real-world problem while we multiply a whole number by a fraction, answering a standardized math test question. Here's our question. An athlete did sit-ups each day for three days. She did a total of 325 sit-ups. On the first day, she did 124 sit-ups. On the second day, she did three-fourths the number of sit-ups she did on the first day. Determine the number of sit-ups the athlete did on the second and third days. You are asked to choose the correct values to correctly complete this statement. The athlete did one of these four numbers, sit-ups, on the second day and choose one of these four values, sit-ups, on the third day. On a standardized test question, this would likely be a drop-down menu and you would click on the number or value that corresponds to your answer. I'm going to ask you to pause the video now, do your best work, and then come back to check yourself. Welcome back. So we are given that we have an athlete doing sit-ups for three days. After three days, she had done a total of 325 sit-ups. So I'm going to make an organized table for this. Day one, day two, day three, and it will total 325. Now, in the first bullet, we're given that on the first day, or day one, she did 124 sit-ups. So I'm going to put 124 in day one. The second bullet tells me that on the second day, she did three-fourths the numbers she did on the first day. So three-fourths the number means I'm going to take the number from the first day and I'm going to multiply it by three-fourths. Now, the test that I took this from is a calculator day. So you would have a calculator option in your test. So you would take 3 times 124 and then divide by 4. When you do that, you're going to get 93. Okay, so think of it, and you could do it reverse. 124 divide by 4, that fraction bar means divide. 124 divide by 4, multiply by 3. So on a calculator, to multiply by a fraction, multiply by the numerator, divide by the denominator, the order doesn't matter. When you do that, you get 93. So we know day one, she did 124 sit-ups. Day two, she did 93 sit-ups. Now we need to find out day three. But we know we only have this one missing number, and it totals 325. We have no other bullets, no other information provided, so we're going to take our 124 and our 93 and add them together and subtract that from our 325. So 124 plus 93 on your calculator would be 217. When we subtract, that is our day 3 value. So 325 subtract 217 is going to give you 108. So we know that on day 3, we have 108. You could check this. If you add 124 plus 93 plus 108, you're going to get 325. Now it's time to answer the question. So we're asked on the first one, sit-ups on the second day. We can see that we did 93 sit-ups on day two. The last box is sit-ups on the third day. So we go to day three in our box, that's 108, and we circle or click that drop-down value. And there you have it. The athlete did 93 sit-ups on the second day and 108 sit-ups on the third day. Thank you for joining me as we solved a real-world problem today, multiplying a whole number by a fraction and reviewing how to do that on a calculator. That is the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. I hope you'll come back soon and have a great day.